Outriders is here, and like any new game, there's generally often gonna be performance issues that you're gonna notice when you try to stream it and play it. But don't worry, in this video right here, we're gonna give you the best recommended settings that you can apply to your setup so you get the most out of your stream and gaming experience. Here we go. What is up all you awesome streamers? Wild for Games here to make sure you become bigger and better with everything Streamlabs. Now real quick, all the information and recommendations we're gonna give you is based on user experiences at this moment. So things could be subject to change. So make sure you check the video description or the pinned comment because we'll do our best to update you if anything changes. When it comes to streaming Outriders, we're first gonna look at DX12 versus DX11. If you're experiencing issues with DX12, try using DX11. You can switch this by choosing the option where you launch the game from Steam or adding dash force dash DX11 to your launch options via Steam's property menu for that game. Verifying game files. Sometimes doing this will fix any odd in-game performance issue you are having. You can find this option via the same properties menu from the previous tip. Disabling Steam and third-party overlays. GeForce Experience, Steam, Discord, etc. all have in-game overlays that can be disabled to increase performance. The image that you see here, you want to untick the enable the stream overlay while in-game option. Each application will have its own instructions for turning off the in-game overlay. It's also a good idea to go to your game bar and turn off the ability to record clips, take screenshots, and broadcast. Any background processes that are going on can negatively impact the performance of both the game and your streaming software. Make sure you update those drivers. If you haven't already, it's a good idea to keep your drivers up to date. If you have an NVIDIA GPU, open the GeForce Experience and install the latest driver update. When it comes to Windows settings, look at Windows Security. If you're experiencing any stuttering issues with DX12, this should resolve that. Open Windows Security and click the Virus and Threat Protection. Then click Manage Settings under the Virus and Threat Protection settings. Click Add or Remove Exclusions and add both folders that you see on screen right now to the exclusion list. Please note your driver letter may be different, which is fine. When it comes to in-game settings, we want to optimize them to help ensure that your stream and game run smoothly. You may need to do some testing to find out the right setting for your setup, but these are our guidelines to get you started. For display settings, window mode should be full screen. NVIDIA DLSS should be at quality. This can be changed to suit your needs, but quality seems to provide the most benefit. VSync off. Enable FPS limit off. Normally capping your FPS is a good thing to do when streaming and gaming, but currently having this one on has a negative effect on your performance. And DX12. While this is not an in-game menu like we stated before, you should use DX12 if you can for an FPS game. And like we said before, if you're experiencing issues, try DX11. All right, now let's jump into our Streamlab OBS settings. It's always good to note that you should be running your Streamlabs OBS as an administrator. Right click on your Streamlabs OBS desktop icon and select run as administrator. This is a good idea to do regardless of the game as it allows you to take advantage of all the OBS performance mechanics. Performance mode. This will hide your preview to improve overall performance. Enable this by right clicking on your preview screen and selecting performance mode. If you're new to Streamlabs OBS or streaming in general, we recommend using the auto optimizer, which scans your internet speed and computer hardware to give you the best recommended settings. To access this feature, open Streamlabs OBS and navigate to the settings general. It's a fantastic way to jump right in without having to really mess around with too much of the finer details. Of course, if you're more tech savvy, you can always do manual settings to make sure you get the most out of your machine and your stream. Quality and resolution. The output of your video resolution can have a significant impact on the quality of your live stream and the performance of your Streamlabs OBS. Remember, streaming at 1080p versus 720p will double the number of pixels, meaning your computer will have to use more resources. 
To adjust the resolution, select video from the side panel in the settings window. You can leave the base canvas resolution as your computer's native resolution, but we recommend lowering the output scaled resolution since streaming at 1080p can have a significant impact on your CPU. We recommend lowering the output scaled resolution to 1280 by 720 for a good balance between performance and quality. Choosing your encoder. When it comes to encoders, there are two types, software which is X264 and hardware which is NVENC. The software encoder X264 will use your CPU to encode video, while hardware encoders like NVENC utilize a dedicated encoder in the GPU, allowing you to play and stream without compromising the game performance. If you're using an NVIDIA graphics card, we recommend you stream with the NVENC new. Changing your CPU usage preset. You want to navigate over to output in the settings window. NVENC presets range from low latency, optimal performance, and max quality. We recommend starting with the quality preset and experimenting from there to see what works best for you. X264 offers a range of usage presets. This refers to how fast your CPU encodes video. The faster it encodes, the less CPU it uses. By default, this is set to very fast, which provides the best balance between performance and quality. Think about enabling dynamic bitrate. In our recent update to Streamlabs OBS, we introduced a new feature called dynamic bitrate. This feature allows our software to automatically adjust your bitrate based on network conditions to prevent dropping frames. Remember, if your computer and internet speed can't handle the bitrate you've set, you may experience dropped frames which is an attempt to improve the stability of your stream and minimize latency. To enable dynamic bitrate, navigate to the settings window and click advance. Scroll down and toggle the box next to the option that says dynamically change bitrate when dropping frames while streaming. Now, like I said earlier, if you're tech savvy, you can pretty much adjust everything manually to get the most out of your machine and stream. But Twitch does have some recommendations, which I'm gonna to toss a graphic here up on screen for you to look at versus 1080p versus 720p and 60 frames versus 30 frames. So make sure to pause the video here if you need to look at it a little bit more in depth. Everybody always needs to remember that everybody's stream and machine is a little bit different. So some settings for one person may not be the same for another person. So play around. These are just guidelines to get you started and get you gaming right away. If you need any more help with anything Streamlabs related, hey, that's where I'm here to help you out. Going to toss a couple of videos here up on screen to make you bigger and better with Streamlabs. Wild for Games, wishing you the best, and as always, take care, and of course, peace!